Hello everyone, this is ASMR today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you how to retouch the photo uh, which is like the black color background and how to remove the spot and other stuffs. But uh, in this case I will apply the black and white color. Some of my fans just asked me to make this type of color preset and I'll make the color preset. So today's tutorial topic is three or four things. Number one, and I'll show you how to crop properly. Number two i'll show you how to retouch the skin and number three i'll make it uh, like preset uh, which is like black and white but not properly black and white and number four is the color correction so if you're new channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first i just make a copy by pressing ctrl j of this photo i downloaded this photo from the deviantart.com and i'll give you the photo credit and download link over there you can check it out and you can use that for your practice purpose so at first i'll crop it out here is the crop tool and here you can just make the crop i'll make the crop 16 is to 9 so select this one and hit the tick button before that you have to adjust the selection the main theme main theme of the photography is if you crop and if you keep the eyes in um, this type of uh, points that means the overlapping points those are the uh, like uh, point of view of the photography so when you're cropping please keep you keep the model eyes in these points uh, it will make the more audience friendly photo so and hit the tick button then after that just uh, I'll make it uh, smooth skinning so I'll use a preset or I'll use a plugins for this select this one go to the filter and the uh, photo toolbox and skin finer and in this skin finer I'll use the for the smooth skin and uh, reducing the other stuff I'll increase the amount of sharpening and the fining I'll make the hue like a red type hue a little bit and saturation i'll make it down and increase the brightness so after that contrast i'll adjust the contrast and shadow as well and the highlight as well so and hit the ok button you'll get a new look of these photographs and now let's see the before one was like that. and after one you're getting like that the smooth things so after that i'll add the dodge burning option and press ctrl j for that i'll Go to the blending mode and make it screen and right press and brightness or blending options from here find out the highlighted area press the alter button and divide in and just adjust the light and hit ok and mask it and go to the image and apply image and hit ok so you'll get a subtle change in this photo if you need you can just make it like that yeah that's good and select this Two layers make it group and make it much low variance photo and i'll make it like a black and white type so from here here is the detailing options actually the basic options and i'll de vibrance and make the vibrance minus 33 and saturation as well and i'll go to the adjustment uh, that is the hsl panel and make the red color a little bit up the saturation and variance and luminance i'll make it like that the orange color increase the color of the orange and the hue i'll make the hue like that so that's fine and here from here i'll add a little bit yeah that's good and now tone curve and go to the blue tone curve and adjust the tone like this yeah a little bit wormy but not properly and green and i'll make the green color like this and the red color as well so a little bit and from here the contrast will increase and the exposure as well a little bit not too much so don't worry about that i'll give you that preset for your practice purpose and from the effects panel i'll dehaze a little bit yeah that's good and from the basic uh, here i'll desaturate this one yeah that's good and the highlight i'll make it down the highlights and increase the shadow and the blacks as well so decrease the blacks so that's good and noise reduction detailing i'll increase the detail amount of detail and luminance of noise reduction i'll make it like that so after that 
again tone curve or curve tone and i'll make it like that so from the camera calibration i'll adjust the light a little bit and it will be like this and this one the green color and here as well so that's good that's fine let's see the before one and after one yeah that's good now i'll go to the split toning and add the split color like this and the sh balance i'll make it balance the shadow let that is like that so yeah that's fine and now i'll go to the rgb color tone and to make this one a little bit hazy so that's good and i'll save this preset for you guys and i'll give you that preset link and then hit ok so let's see the before one and after one and here is the dramatic look and i just made the color correction so i'll go to the adjustment again and go to the color lookup from here here is the load 3d lut and i'll use the foggy nights and make the opacity like 12 percent make the blending options blending mode actually in a soft light so that's good and then again go to the adjustment layer and color lookup from here the future stick this color and make the opacity minus or uh, 11 percent that's good and select all the things make it group and make it merge and now time for applying another like filter go to the filter again and nick collection and color effects pro from here i'll make the color effects pro like um, the here lots of presets and other stuffs and i'll pick one of them i'm using the cross processing one and here lots of filter and presets you can use one of them so you can choose for that this one is good for me and for these photographs or you can choose another one if you like to do so here 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 yeah this one is good c or l07 and hit ok it will take time to load it up and give you the final output so let's wait for that yeah and go to the adjustment layer again and i'll use a filter by using the solid color i'll add like that and make the blending mode into soft light and choose a color or pick a color which is like cool type color and it will make the color yeah that's good that's nice and hit okay so before one was like that and after one you're getting like that i'll go to the adjustment layer and go to the levels from here i'll adjust the lights and other stuffs so you should adjust the color according to the like light color or yeah this color is good hmm. that's fine before one and after one so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i am ac signing out today bye bye